Hi, this is your host Sapna Bhartiya and we are here at KubeCon in Chicago and today we have with us Vinotini Raju, co-founder and CEO of GoPedal. Vinotini, it's great to have you on the show. Yeah, I'm really uh, delighted to be here and thank you so much for giving this opportunity. No, it's the, the pleasure is all mine. Let's talk about Go pedal. Let's talk about your own background. I have uh, been in the enterprise IT for the last 20 plus years. Um, so I pivoted. Uh, I, I started my company about 10 years ago, and we've been offering DevOps consulting and services for a lot of retail companies in India. And um, two three years ago, I pivoted out of this consulting business and started this com uh, product called Go Paddle, which is primarily you know a low code platform for platform engineering needs. What? led you to create GoPedal? What problem you, that you saw that this industry was not solving that you wanted to solve? When we were offering the consulting um, services for our clients, we saw that a lot of these companies were really struggling with the infrastructure. They were on different cloud platforms and initially, you know, at that stage of the implementation, the cloud adoption itself was a huge challenge. And then the DevOps moment uh, came in and th that in fact, you know, introduced a lot of tooling Right? And the companies were really struggling to put all these pieces together. And we saw an opportunity where we could actually give it a do-it-yourself platform, which has all of these inbuilt capabilities so that you know, these companies can get started really quickly. So that's how we started building a platform which has a lot of these monitoring, CICD, DevOps automation out of the box. What kind of companies were you targeting? And if you can also talk a little bit about the working of the GoPedal platform. So we are tar targeting, you know, uh, small to mid-sized companies earlier. Like, we, in fact, we worked with such retail companies earlier. We know how uh, they have been using the cloud platforms, what kind of use cases they really had. And initially, we were starting with these smaller companies and the developers in mind. And the way, you know, GoPaddle is structured around this is, you know, you know, developers have to start, you know, packaging their applications, dockerize them, and provision infrastructure and deploy those workloads onto these um, Kubernetes environments. So we uh, provided a platform which is low code, so developers can just start from their you know, code and get up uh, onto the cloud in a few minutes. So this was the story so far, but I think uh, a lot of technology advancements have happened in the recent past, and uh, we are trying to leverage so those. Uh, in fact, we are releasing a new uh, version of it as an early access, which is 5.0. Uh, I'm just announcing it today, um, and that's all about you know leveraging some of the Gen AI capabilities and making the platform more smarter. Let's talk about just go deeper into the latest version, and also talk about you know how you are leveraging uh, Gen AI and what does it mean for customers. There are a couple of problems we already know, and um, it, it gels very well with the developers. Uh, so one is the cognitive overload of writing a lot of these YAML files. Um, so even to get up a small uh, deployment onto Kubernetes, uh, you know, developers have to write hundreds of lines of YAML files. And they have to use different tools like uh, developer tools like terminal access and log into cloud platforms and so many different tools that uh, they have to kind of switch between in order to really troubleshoot and find out what things are going wrong. So that's the first pain point uh, that we want to address. The second one is the configuration drift. So as and when they do uh, you know, uh, re-engineering uh, or even upgrading their pipelines, they have to again start from uh, scratch on a few things. So for instance, if they bring in a security context into Kubernetes, all of a sudden some of their um, uh, you know, volume mounts and things like that may go wrong. So they realize that re-engineering, again, you know, it kicks in, right? So it's a non-stop process for them. And there is no one single dashboard that gives a complete view of all the resources within Kubernetes, how they are interrelated, and uh, how one, one change may actually have a ripple effect on others. So these are very common problems, and um, we are trying to address this uh, with the help of uh, the generative AI. So we are announcing three new functionalities into this 5.0 version. The first one is to leverage GenAI for runbook automation. So runbooks are primarily you know, documentation, which are very context sensitive. So say for instance, if something goes wrong, so you can support guys or even developers can pull out that information from the runbooks and uh, have a relevant documentation available to them readily. The second one is on the conformance itself. So uh, the reason I think around one point, uh, Kubernetes or recent versions have this open API schema based um, you know, validations. Right, so we have leveraged that and we have built a, uh, an IDE 
which does a validation of the schema and generate YAML files automatically. And the third important thing is the visibility. So we give a hierarchical view of how these resources are interrelated. Say, you know, developers can start from, you know, de deployment, drill down to replicas, and then they can see the pods. So they have a hierarchical representation of all their resources, and they have all the container terminals, logs, and everything within the single platform itself. So with all these three capabilities, I think uh, it's easier for developers to just use one platform and identify and troubleshoot issues. Can you also talk a bit about some of the use cases that are ideal for GoPedal? Or if you can also share who, what kind of folks are leveraging your technologies? Some of the best use cases you could uh, think of with GoPedal is that you know developers can actually go document their uh, common troubleshooting on training material and uh, push it into the GitHub, right? And the support or the SRE can actually pull out that information and uh, use that readily. Or even if they have to onboard a new engineer, they, ha they can have a very relevant information available to them uh, at the right time. So this actually brings down a lot of training and support costs associated with it. And this is a common problem, you know, irrespective of the size of the company or irrespective of the vertical they are in. Anybody can actually, anybody and everybody needs documentation, right? And today, the most of the problems that we have in Kubernetes is because there, is, there are knowledge silos. There is not one single place where everything is collated. And even if an engineer comes in, he really doesn't know where to look for that information, right? I, I mean, we can use uh, Gen AI to get some content, but is it relevant? Is it con context sensitive, right? So that's the core problem that we are trying to address. And the second thing, as I said, it's a schema base, right? So something like an IDE, which has a schema integration, prevents you from making mistakes, right? So for instance, uh, you are supposed to give an integer instead of a string. This is a common thing which we have seen, like when you are deploying something with a port number, you are supposed to give it as an integer, not as a string. In some cases, it is the other way around. And these kind of common errors can be prevented and can be validated before it actually gets into production. So I think these are very common use cases irrespective of the customer size or the vertical. And how can users you know, kind of get to use your technologies? Yeah, so we are on a couple of marketplaces, uh, Docker Desktop, MicroCadus, Add-on, Rancher, or, and many other common platforms you would find us as an add-on. Um, this is all like community edition, which is uh, free to use. They can just play around the tools. And if they want to go beyond one cluster and have a multi-cloud or a hybrid infrastructure, then we have an enterprise edition or a SaaS version which they can leverage. Excellent. Vinodhini, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about GoPedal. And uh, I would love to talk to you again as you know, new, you folks come up with new technology solutions. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much.